everybody welcome back to living on the ice today we're uh, up on Red Lake doing some fishing doing some camping we're living on the ice and uh, we're gonna go check out a guy's shack um, this guy's name is Jared uh, he's got a really nice uh, 6x14 and we're gonna show it to you in just a second here This shack here is a 6x14. It's a Tibbin uh, crank frame. It's got smooth, smooth siding all along the outside. Real nice drip edges over the windows. Diamond plate trim. Oh, we got Ransom in the back here saying hi. Who is it? Ransom, come here. Who is it? Who's that guy? <laughs> Give us a tour of your shack here, Jared. Hey man, how's it going? Good. Well, this is my ice shack. It's a six and a half by 14. I uh, bought the shell from yours truly, Dan, and uh, he did a great job on the outside. My dad and I finished up the inside. We have the cedar siding, polyurethane. Um, we got the uh, couch here that folds down into a bed. This guy folds down, obviously, into a bed. Um, so, two comfortably sleeps here. Jackknife sofa folds out as well, but unless you're a child or someone extremely short, shorter than I mean, you can sleep on there. <laughs> um, yeah, a few other little things like got some 3D printed phone holders here, even though it's not even holding it. We're on red, so you got to have your phone in the window for service. <laughs> exactly. Uh, um, 3D printed fans. Dan actually gave me a little help with that, with these fancy pulse width modulator um, controllers. So yeah, they're on like a little gimbal system. So I'm on the top bunk when my dad's down here. I'll give myself a little air. Very nice setup. Got that one blowing forward to help circulate things. Come up here, this is where I have the cabinet. Awesome find off Facebook Marketplace. 15 bucks, couldn't beat it. Square, um, used it for a season. It had a big pinch point here, so we cut the corner off. Um, makes it a lot easier to get through. We made our own doors. So we have our electrical on this side. Batteries under here. Of course, the pizzazz. I need oh, in the everyone has to have a pizzazz. But yeah, you peek in there, you got batteries, diesel heater, best heater in the world. Nice. Um, all the electrical. Pretty simple. For sure. Haven't gone a lithium road yet, but there's time. Of course, there's money. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, Always. I mean, everything is in the main, yeah, up front, we got the bathroom, nothing fancy here, just a curtain with a portable toilet, nice hole with the rattle reel in the front. Cozy little space. Oh, you even got a hole to fish out of. Yep, you can't forget the hole light either. These little guys. Oh yeah, look at those. Another one of those Dan Asper creations. Haha, <laughs> who is this guy? I don't know. <laughs> he knows a thing or two. And then, let's see. Yeah, so we have all these points for either rod holders or um, rattle reels. Like in the front, we have the rattle reel mounted on the ceiling. Rod holder here, here. Hummingbird mounted on the wall. A uh, nice thing about these hole lights is they give you light at night when you wake up to a rattle reel, but they also have 12 volt output, so I can run my helix off of that instead of batteries. Using the Vexlar right now because it's being finicky. I've got a lot of static. It's probably because I'm running the generator. That's the one issue I have with running the Helix off of the shack. When the generator's on, you do get static. That's unfortunate, but once you kill the generator, it's good. Nice. Very nice yeah. fishing setup. Nice and cozy in here. Hey, oh, yeah. If you want to make it real cozy at night, turn on the little rope lighting. Oh, some accent lighting. 
Yeah, it's on the dimmer. Very nice. So yeah, that makes it nice because yeah, these overhead lights, these are pretty much just for setup or if you wake up in the middle of the night, just snap sure. one. And yes, Dan, I can reach them. <laughs> but yeah, that's the, that's the shack. It's a small one, but works great and keeps you warm. So nice. no complaints here. Very nice setup. Well, Thank thanks you. for sharing it for us. Yeah, to no us. problem. No yeah. problem. I'm looking forward to building another one. Excellent. <laughs>